Hey, this is the ABS sensor uh, troubleshooting video part two, and uh, I did the driver's side. I mentioned in my first video the resistance of the sensor was 1,048 ohms, I believe. Uh, this one was 1,055 ohms, so they're both pretty much the same, and I'd consider that a success. I don't know what the spec is, but I'm, I'm sure that they're fine. Um, one thing I did notice, when I, or one thing I forgot to mention in the other video, is when I took this off, you'll notice there's a little metal thing right in the very center of the sensor, right right there, and uh, that might have some crud built up on it. You want to make sure that's really clean. Um, that's, I don't know, if there's any bit of rust or flick of metal or anything that gets on there, it might, might mess up what the sensor does. The other thing I noticed when I took this side off is um, this sensor actually has the plastic cover over it. There's no exposed coil of copper wire, so I was right in the first video my first sensor is fractured, the casing is stuck in the hub, but uh, it still has the right resistance and appears to work. Um, this one has an O-ring that was missing on the other side. And the other thing is this one has a stainless steel uh, spacer here. And I'm not sure what it does. It, uh, well, I mean, it's a spacer, but the other side was missing that spacer. And I know the, uh, the GM, around 2000 GM trucks had an ABS recall for the uh, very reason why I have to take this apart, I believe, because the sensor corrosion built up underneath the sensor and pulls it away from the hub. But uh, I'm wondering if this thing right here is part of the recall and uh, if they only did it on one side of the truck because this, this stainless steel thing was definitely not on the other side. Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps you out with your own diagnosis. Good luck.